What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be revealing that I actually caught a new milestone early this morning. There's a bit of a caveat, which is it was actually at the very, very early morning market open um, that I hit 400k. And uh, my account value actually did below that afterwards, but I'm still making this video uh, just because I think it should still count. And I'm basically right there anyway. I've been at like the 391 to like 396 range for like the past week no joke it's been like right there up and down up and down and then this morning finally so let me go ahead and flip the camera so here we go plain as day uh early in the morning it was at 401 like 400 and then uh, the market did poorly very very poorly market open and then it kind of just faded the rest of the day but uh for a brief moment i was a 400 thousand there so normally I wouldn't have made the video, but like I said, I've been like right there within the 391, 396, 397 range for the past like week. Um, and I feel like if the Nasdaq just has another couple good days, then I should be there anyway. So uh, to me, the few thousand dollars isn't really that big of a difference. And so that's why I made it, even though normally I wouldn't. Now, what are some lessons or takeaways um, at this point? Number one, over the past few months, I realized that I'm actually over diversified. And it's actually killed some of my gains. I didn't realize how much I put into stocks that I don't really care that much about. Like, let's say Palantir, for example. Which, by the way, I think Palantir... I like Palantir. I own Palantir. I want it to do well. But I do think it's probably one of the most overrated stocks on the market right now, easily. Probably the most, or top two, maybe. Um, <clears throat> and But yeah, so, stuff like that. Um, and I think I went a little bit too heavy in some other sectors... Um, cause it's just like you lose track of how much you're putting into something. And then, um, when you realize how big of a percentage of your por por portfolio it is and when those holdings actually go down, it's like, uh, like I don't even like this company, but anyway, so that's one takeaway. And the other takeaway is that this number four is particularly exciting because every subsequent 100 K milestone is actually going to be in the 20 ish percent range maximum. Meaning that to get from four to five hundred k, it's going to be a twenty five percent increase, and then a twenty percent increase, and a sixteen percent increase, then fourteen, then twelve and a half, then eleven, then ten. At that point, I'm a millionaire. And um, I've had like twenty percent months before. I think over the past few months, I'm probably doing pretty well. Um, wouldn't be surprised. I think this year I'm actually in the forty percent range or something like that, forty or fifty or something. Of percentage so like you know these big increases are not new to me and um, as I'm starting to get better at trading and just optimizing my strategy more I could see myself getting you know some pretty hitting some milestones really quickly going forward now um, last thing I'll say is that like you know a big part of the reason why I'm hitting milestones to begin with is because the market's been performing pretty well and you know, I don't want to take it to the extreme and say that, like, this never happens, right? Because the market does have extended bull runs. People always love to say that this is the longest bull run in history, which doesn't even make any sense because you take some time periods like, I don't know, the 80s to the 90s um, to the 2000s, and you have, you know, pretty large periods of really strong rallies with, like, 20 to 30% corrections in between, which is kind of what we've had so far. Um, and so I don't think this is the longest bull run in history, depending on what you consider a bull run or not. Um, so I don't want to take it to that, that extreme and say like, you know, the market never does stuff like this. Um, but I also don't want to take it to the other extreme and say that, you know, I'm hitting milestones because of my stellar ability or something like that. Right. Cause I mean, if the market's gone sideways and my account goes sideways, right. So I do have the market to thank for um for going up <laughs> so um anyway so yeah that's gonna wrap it up for this one um thanks for everyone who's been here throughout the entire journey you guys know who you are and um yeah thanks for the support hope to catch you guys on the next milestone